can you just reflect on, on that? It must be a, a very difficult uh, defeat to take. Yeah, really, a really painful moment again. Um, we started the game considering really early, a really soft goal. Um, and after that, in this moment, um, to get through that, obviously, is difficult. Um, but the player reacted, to be fair, and we started to grow. As the game was um, was moving forward, um, we scored the goal, a really good goal. And after that, um, I think that we were the better team for the next 25 minutes. But uh, when we had the best moments in the game, we considered another soft goal. And obviously, that makes um, the game even harder. But uh, still, we kept going. Uh, we had um, an open situation where we can play Laka through. We miss the pass. And on that uh, counter, um, they score the goal in, in an offside position. And obviously, after that moment, um, the game is over. Nick Callow, Peters. Hi, Mikel. Um, Pep naturally said some very nice things about you, was very supportive. He also said that the game turned on a goalkeeping error and that the third goal was offside. Do you think he was being kind on you, or was that a fair reflection of the game? Well, I don't know if he was trying to be kind. Um, those actions are a reality. Uh, but the reality as well is uh, the difference um, between the, the teams in certain moments, uh, but not for the whole match. But uh, still, you lose the game and, and that's it, that's the story of the game again. And Martinelli's injury, is it anything to do with what was wrong with him before or something different? No, 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 it was just um, a really bad kick on his chin and he was swelling up and uh, he was in pain and he could not continue. Just a word on the goalkeeper. That was a terrible mistake, wasn't it? It must be um, difficult for him to come back from that. It is, but we win and lose together. And uh, Alex has played all the games. We decided to play him uh, tonight for many reasons. And uh, and that's it. Their responsibility is for all of us. Yeah, I understand. Is there any regret in letting any Martinez go? There's no point having any regrets or not. There were uh, different reasons why uh, we had to do that transaction. We did it, and um, and it's a part of the past. Then we had a, a really good uh, few months uh, last season. Uh, it really helped us, and obviously when um, our goalkeeper makes an error, these things are going to come up. Okay, cheers, thanks. Thank you. Mark from PA. I'm Cal. Um, you made, I think it was eight changes tonight. Was that, was that through necessity because of the fixtures you've got coming up? It was a combination of the amount of games that some of them have played, uh, some injuries that we have um, at the moment and players that they could not be even involved tonight, and others because there are players that deserve to play. I know Gabriel already played until he came off at the start of the second half, but the way we saw him in the first half running, chasing things after nine months out, is that is that almost a lesson to some of the other players in your squad? Well, I think Gabi he has a unique energy and, and a way to transmit uh, his passion for the game. I think he plays the game in a in a different way to any other player, so it's hard to compare him. But uh, what I have to say is that it's great to have him back uh, to bring that spirit, that fight, and after such a long time to play against uh, these opponents the way he did it uh, the first half. I think it's um, it's uh, something to be really proud and happy. You see, he comes off injured, Alex makes a mistake, there's an offside goal. Is that some of your look at the moment? It is what we are fighting against, um, but we're going to keep fighting. Uh, there is no any other way. Uh, it's a really hard result to take. Um, but as well, we have to look at things that um, can help us for the future. And um, I have to say that for the young players in a really difficult scenario, I think they did really well. Thanks, Mark. I'm going to take one more tonight, Dave. So, James, Benj. Um, hi, Mikhail. Just quickly going back on to Gabby. Um, what was the logic for bringing him back out for the second half? Um, what, why, why did you, why did you think it was okay to risk it? Because he was pushing, saying it was completely fine that he wanted to carry on. Um, he had a scar that he wasn't open, and he wanted to 
to try. So we gave him the possibility to um, to try, and when he was on the pitch, he wasn't comfortable. So it was an easy decision to take him out. Um, and then just you know, obviously you brought in a few centre halves that hadn't played, um, and there's lots of questions about William Saliba and why he's not playing and what he, why he's not being trusted in a game like this. Was he close to to being involved in this game? Yeah, but he cannot be involved because he's not um, in the squad. He, he's not in the 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 squad. I, I I was under the impression that he was eligible to play in the EFL games. And we made that decision with him, and we will see what we have, uh, what we're going to do in, in January. So it's the plan to loan him out. We are talking about it, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. James.